All right, in this series of words uh, which are frequently confused, today we are going to discuss uh, these three words, uh, endemic, epidemic and pandemic. The word pandemic uh, uh, is very well known these days. We know that we are all suffering from uh, a disease which has spread all over the world. I am referring to a COVID-19 coronavirus which is um, which has spread all over the world and it has affected most of the people across the world. So it is a global disease, right? Therefore, the word pandemic is used. Even the WHO has declared uh, this disease uh, as a pandemic. So the word pandemic begins with P-A-N, pan. Pan is the root word for many words. For example, uh, uh, panacea. Panacea is one cure that that, uh, uh, that 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 cures all diseases or one one solution that solves all problems panacea or or pandemonium pandemonium is utter chaos right uh, it is complete disorder uh, which we commonly come across in our in our parliament right so the word pandemic is is a disease or is 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 a disease that has, that has spread all over the world now let us quickly look at uh, this first word that i have written here that is endemic now, a disease um, uh, is an endemic which is restricted um, uh, to a particular region, which we come across in a particular region. For example, uh, this disease is endemic among uh, sheep and cattle in the tropics. Now, in the tropics, here I am referring to a particular small region. So, it has affected um, uh, uh, the sheep or cattle in that particular region. So, endemic is a disease which affects a fairly small number of people in a particular particular region now epidemic epidemic is a is a disease uh, that has that affects or that spreads quickly in a, in a particular country uh, in a state and it affects fairly large number of people not not as many as uh, all over the world uh, not as small as in a particular region but the epidemic affects a fairly a large number of people so this is what is the difference between among these uh, three words now if you observe that uh, the number of people who is affected by these by these diseases goes on increasing right so endemic small number of people epidemic a fairly large number of people and pandemic all over the world so this is what is the difference between among these uh, three words now remember uh, endemic is also a word uh, is, is used uh, sometimes sometimes figuratively uh, when you are referring uh, to a problem uh, that is endemic uh, um, um, then that problem is common um, uh, and and it cannot be uh, easily solved or it cannot be easily dealt with for example discrimination discrimination against women is is endemic uh, in our country so uh, the word endemic here i am using figuratively i am referring to a social problem similarly epidemic epidemic is also used in order to talk about uh, something which is which society does not approve of right it may be a crime or something right uh, for example there is an epidemic of crime in our uh, in our in our major cities now remember uh, endemic and epidemic endemic is, is is something that we commonly observe it is it is not an outbreak uh, uh, epidemic and pandemic they are outbreak they are outbreaks they, they spread very fast epidemic something spreads very fast so uh, I'm, uh, so so i have used uh, the word epidemic here figuratively so i'm referring to crimes so let's say that we find crimes which have um, uh, uh, which have increased all over all over the uh, all over the country very fast let's say there is an outbreak of crimes then i will use the word epidemic because this this particular outbreak is restricted to a country or or a state so i am using the word uh, epidemic for this for the particular crime for example therefore i have uh, uh, just told you the same sentence that there is an epidemic of crime um, in in our major cities whereas whereas uh, discrimination against women is is a common problem it's not kind of an outbreak it's it's a common problem therefore i'm saying that that uh, discrimination against women is endemic uh, in our country which means it's a social problem uh, which is commonly seen in our in our society and and it cannot be easily uh, solved or it cannot be easily dealt with i hope you have understood these um, uh, words and their their um, uh, different usages and meanings and and in the different contexts in which they are used uh, figuratively 
the sentences that I have uh, just given as examples, uh, um, you can see those sentences and examples in the description of this video. Thank you.